Say, Sheila, we got the heads at Disney on the phone. Perf. Thanks, doll. I'll take it from beer. <laughs> I'm joking. I only drink scotch before noon. Kathleen Kennedy, Jonathan Cross, how's tricks? Uh, listen, I'm going to cut the fag, get right to the meat of it today. We've been watching these numbers simmer over the last year or so, and the kids really want to see Rilo on the big screen. If you don't know, Rilo is a combination of Kylo Ren and Rey. Kylo's hot right now. He's testing through the roof with the teenage boys, oddly enough. I assume it's only boys because those are the only ones I see on social media posting pictures of him topless. Not a single girl has posted one, just boys only. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Listen, at the end of the day, these two need to plow for the lack of a better use of the English language. That's goal number one for sure. Uh, goal number two though, and I think this is just as strong, it's just as powerful as the first, is we are going to be CGing the shit out of Princess Leia. She's going to be a prominent role here. She's going to be whipping around space, punching asteroids like some sort of a god. It's going to be uh, lit, as the kids said in 2015. And I know, I know, just shut up, Kathleen, for a second. I know, Carrie Fisher's dad, poor one out for fish. She was a dream. She was part of all of our hearts. We are going to be CGing her, though. We're going to be propping her up like a puppet. And that reminds me, this is going to be done in the most tasteful, most humane way possible. I'm thinking when she does fight, she is going to be like Master Yoda uh, from the prequels, kind of flipping around to and fro like she's got a firework up her ass. It's tastefully done, though. It's going to look great. Eventually, she's going to take on the king and the queen, uh, Kylo Ren and Rey. She's going to decapitate Kylo by using those trademark golden dice of Hans, whip it right through the guy's throat, popping that head off. We know the golden dice are a really prominent, significant thing for the Star Wars fandom in the last uh, couple years when we made it a thing. Rey is going to be pissed at this because, you know, her hunk of a man, the shirtless wonder's dead. She is, however, going to be a smoke show now. She's going to have that fiery makeup, that eyeliner going on. She's going to have that kind of bondage wear from Star Wars, the prequels, the think of a Padme black, skin tight. She's not going to die, though, and this is where things go crazy, things go nuts. We are really desperate to push that fandom here. We really want to reach out to that community of nerds that uh, hasn't had sex yet. So we are going to be proposing the Jar Jar Binks theory that Jar Jar is actually a Sith master. This is a real thing that people uh, believe. That's right, Kathleen, your ears are deceiving you. Everybody's favorite duck build floppy dick fuck stick is the most feared Gungan this side of Naboo. Sheila, that's that's all accurate, right? I just wikied this like two seconds before the interview. Those are the Those are the terms I got. Those are right? Okay. This reveal is not coming in until the final shot of the film. We're kind of doing a Rogue One-esque thing again, but no fighting. He's going to walk out of the shadows, a little bit of smoke, reveal the helmet, fires up the lightsaber, and you just see those beady eyes. You just see that duck mouth. You just see those ears pop. And then you see the credits. Because we are not stopping at episode 9. Ryan Johnson's back, baby. Everybody's favorite director. So polarizing. So controversial. Subverts expectations. We're subverting him again. He's taking over for 10, 11, 12. Continuing this Ray franchise. As for characters like Finn, well, my boy RJ already turned him into a one-dimensional stick of gum. Kind of a laughing stock of this series. So we're going to stick with that. We're giving him his own catchphrase now. It's going to be, ah, womp rats. It's a tip of the hat. It's a tip of the dick to Luke Skywalker in A New Hope. Talking about how he used to blast those fuckers out of his T-16. Seriously, Sheila, I looked all this shit up like a minute before coming on. I can't believe this is happening. They're eating out of my hands. It's crazy. They're literally eating out of my hands. That's not, that's not the right way to use that term. Uh, fuck you. Speaking of tip of the dick, we're bringing back Rose. She's got to get more exposure. She's got to get more time in the sun. We're going to be putting her with Finn again. That team up worked so well last time. And we're going to have them fight. You guessed it. Captain Phasma. This is the title match. Final bout. She survived the explosion, of course. She survived the cold vacuum of space. She's back again. And her death is going to be one of the most powerful things in Star Wars history. Let me break it down. We're bringing them back to Tatooine. Full circle. Luke's home planet. Final fight's going down here. I'm yelling, Timber. And they're going to be going into a swampy marsh area. Uh, Phasma's obviously going to make short work of Finn because he's a little bitch. He's one-dimensional. But Rose is going to hold her own because we've learned in this film that she's an experienced fighter. Just for no reason at all. We just throw that into the script. That means it happened at some point off camera. So she's beating up Phasma. Phasma, they're exchanging blows. But eventually, Rose knocks Phasma to the end of a swampy area. 
but before she can finish her off, Phasma takes her to the ground, says something snarky. Phasma's puzzled as she holds her weapon up, she sees a twinkle in Rose's eye. Rose planned on falling backwards as she looks up at Phasma and says, Ah. Oh. Womp rats. Just then a whole litter of womp rats rise out of the swamp, pull Phasma down, ripping her up. You just see blood, pus, and shit coming out of the swamp as she then goes down. Then Finn, getting up from the ground, goes, Hey, that's my line. <laughs> it's so good. Kathleen and company, I'll let you guys have a moment or two to digest what I just fed you. Uh, it's billions of dollars, potentially. Well, provably. We're going to make a ton of money on this. Oh, and if you were wondering about Han and Luke, I didn't bring them up because they will not be coming back for this one. They are fully dead. The only two characters that we'll never see again. I think we did enough disservice to them that we can just kind of live with ourselves peacefully. So yeah, fuck Luke, fuck Han. We have a future to look forward to. We have a picture? Yeah, we have a picture. Oh, and Sheila, if you could find some tasteful shots of Daisy Ridley in like an all-black leather outfit, email them to me. That would be great. For research, right? I'm joking. They don't need to be tasteful. Uh, I'd actually prefer if they weren't.